Hi, today we're going to be talking about KJ and her reading. Basically, we're going to look at some preliminary data that we had collected to kind of find out where she was. And then I went through and did some more assessing with her to kind of pinpoint where her strengths and weaknesses are in her reading ability and then what we can do to help support her moving forward with her reading. So as far as the preliminary data, um, I first pulled her AIMS test score, which is a test which is done quarterly in reading, which addresses comprehension and reading and other um, skills. Um, I looked at her fluency, which is how many words she can read per minute. It's a test that's done every two weeks. I pulled her weekly spelling tests, which um, address phonics. I looked at her weekly unit tests, which um, address vocabulary and comprehension skills. And then finally, I looked at a number of her laughs test skills. Um, laughs is a pre-FSA assessment, so it's preparing them for the Florida standardized assessment that's coming up, the Florida State Assessment. And it kind of helps us know where they are in their comprehension, their vocabulary overall, what they need to work on, what their strength is, or what we can do to help support them to do really well on the FSA. So as I was looking at that preliminary data, I noticed that she's doing fantastic on her spelling tests. She's um, right now has an average of an 80. She's doing um, great on her weekly unit tests. She has an 88%. But then I notice on her um, standardized, uh, standardized assessment tests, like her AIMS and her LAFS, which I was talking about, she wasn't doing quite as well, you know, doing like 40%, 35%. You can see all the numbers across here, the data that I've um, shown. and. I was just seeing that also my observations of her reading ability in class and her comprehension, I felt like it was a little bit higher than what was being shown on her preliminary data. So I thought that she would be a great person to do further testing with to see where we can really um, focus on her reading. So what I did was um, I did uh, several other assessments. One was word recognition. I had her read a list of words um, on several levels. And then just as soon as she makes a mistake on a word, we stop, we go back to that last level, and then we choose a passage, which is in a line with those words that she was reading that she could um, quite easily read. And then we would start from there and read a passage. And within that passage, she would be assessed on her word recognition and then on comprehension on what she's reading about. So um, we did both of those with her. And with the word recognition, she went all the way up till the four level, like a fourth grade reading level, before she had um, an error. And on that fourth grade reading level, she actually had an 18 out of 20, which was a 90%, which is still a pretty high percentage. But as soon as they make a mistake on a word, then we go back. So she went on uh, level three, and um, we started reading a passage in that um, level. And what we I noticed um, is that we are looking for a student to be able to read at an instructional level. That means that they're not going to be overly challenged to where they're frustrated, but it's not so easy that they can go read it on their own independently. So we want them to be on that instructional level because that's a really great level for them to continue learning in class. So um, that's kind of what we're looking for. And I had her read one passage in um, level three. And her word recognition was 98%, which is on an instructional level. So that was really great. And then her oral comprehension percentage. So I asked her a number of questions and um, how she answered them. I wrote it down and she got 90% on that initial 
um, oral um, comprehension. So that was actually independent. So I was like, wow, she's, you know, doing really great on this. So I'm going to try to go up to the next level, level four. And then I noticed, again, she was doing a 96% um, instructional level, doing wonderfully with her word recognition. Um, and then at that point, the, the oral comprehension level really dropped. When I asked her questions, she was really not able to verbalize answers. And she um, got a 40% on that, which, which is in the frustration category. So I thought maybe we'll try going back on the level three again. We'll give that a try and see how it works. So we did. And then that was kind of like exactly pinpointing where she was. She, um, was on the instructional level again with her word recognition. She was able to get a 98% word recognition out of a hundred. So she only missed a few. She was doing really great on that. And then, with her oral comprehension percentage, she again, she got an 80%, which is in the instructional level, which is um, a really great place to be where she is. And now we can see that a level three is, in fact, um, a good place for her. We also um, tested her in the same way, but instead of her reading the passage orally, we had her read it silently to herself and then tested her on her comprehension. And at that point, um, I did the same thing. Level three, she was at an 80% instructional level when I was asking her those comprehension questions. And then I went up, okay, let's, let's just try it and just see if we can get up to level four. And again, then it went way down to 40% um, to a frustration level. So then we went back up, checked the three again, and again, she was in the 80%, the instructional level, which really gave me a solid understanding that that is, in fact, where she should be. So overall, we noticed that level three is um, where she is currently. Um, she, at that point, um, she's making 98% um, word recognition. Um, which is instructional. She is having oral comprehension percentage of 80%, which is instructional. As I noticed through my own assessments, um, the thing that I noticed is that she actually can really recognize a lot of words. Like if she wasn't being um, tested on the comprehension, she probably could have gone up to four or five and continued on. She is able to recognize a lot of words. However, when it comes to the comprehension, she's not really um, comprehending and understanding as much what she's actually reading about and what the story is trying to tell her. So that is something that I feel going forward, I'd really like to work with her with those comprehension skills. And um, she, I think that if she continues on reading, that's of course going to support her. But working forward with those comprehension, um, we have several strategies that we've been working on in the classroom that I can give you some more information on so that you can help her. Also, when she comes home with her homework, we are using a strategy called Unravel, which really helps with understanding comprehension and really trying to pinpoint what the question is asking you and what we're looking for in terms of like main ideas, circling, underlining um, aspects of a passage so that can really help us. And then, um, you know, just continuing to question her when she reads things. What are you reading? What's the main idea in that? What are the supporting details? So we're just going to um, keep working on that. That's also something that the whole class has been working on. We actually have a um, pre-assessment FSA book that has a lot of comprehension um, strategies and problems that we can work on for that. So I think going forward, her um, instructional goals are definitely going to be to um, continue on with that word recognition that she's doing fantastically on, but to really try to focus on working on her comprehension skills and getting those skills up so that she can go to the next level in her reading because she does have the opportunity to progress quite far and she's doing really well.